Hello folks, I am Ben McHugh with Lynx Hilly Innovations. I have here an awesome new upgrade motor for the Blade 130X. This is the EOX 1102 8350 KV 2S version. Um, this is going to be an installation guide for using the 1102 with the stock 130X mainframe, the stock 3-in-1 board, and, and a 12-15 12, a 12 to 15 amp external ESC such as this 12 amp uh, hobby wing. It's not recommended to run this motor directly off the 3-in-1 board. Uh, also, this is not a plug-and-play installation. Frame modification and soldering is required. If you don't have proficient soldering skills, I don't recommend you attempt this installation by yourself. There is a high risk of you uh, damaging your components. So let's get on with the installation. Okay, guys. Step one is to go ahead and disassemble the heli down to the bare main frame. Step two is to trim the top of the frame for motor clearance. Uh, you can cut around the flashing lines. You can see the one that I just trimmed here using a Dremel for the main cut and hand files to clean it up. Make sure there's plenty of room for the motor to turn without uh, uh, contacting the sides of the frame. Step three is to slot out the motor mount holes on the plastic frame. Uh, I use I use an exacto knife. I insert it in the holes with a little pressure and carefully twist to remove material. Do that uh, forward and back on both sides. This is going to allow you to move the, the motor forward and back to adjust the gear lash. Step four is to install the carbon the carbon fiber uh, motor, the motor mount stiffener that came in one of the three plastic baggies in your kit you can see I've already installed this one all right step five is to prep the motor connectors the motor comes with a stock type connector installed however it's not recommended to use this connector it is installed on there for factory QC checks only the best method is to direct solder the motor wires right to the ESC However, I have decided to use 2 millimeter bullet connectors, that way it's uh, easier to remove the motor if I need to. Next step is to install the motor into the frame. So now let's talk about the motor mount screws, the motor screws. Your kit came with two bags of screws. It's very important to use the correct ones. The longer screws are for use with the stock mainframe with the motor mount stiffener. The shorter screws are for use with any aftermarket frame. If you use the long screws without the motor mount brace or in an aftermarket frame, they can contact the windings and short the motor out. So please choose the appropriate screws for your application. Once the motor is installed in the frame using the screws and washers, using the correct screws and washers, the next step is to install the main rotor into the frame with the main gear to verify that we can properly adjust the gear mesh and mine is good here. Alright, the next step is to prep the uh, speed controller for final installation. All ESCs come with the three motor wires, the two power wires for the LiPo, and a three wire BEC lead that has a, a standard servo connector on the end of it. Now, uh, for this ESC I don't need the black and red wire. The only thing we need is the signal wire. So you can see I've already removed the BEC lead, the black and red wire, from the PCB using a soldering iron. Um, that leaves me with just a signal wire that we're going to solder to the um, to the three-in-one board. So, in order for this to work, we need a few things. First, we need to power the ESC with a 2S lipo, but we also need to power the three-in-one board so our receiver, gyros, and servos will work. To do this, uh, I'm going to remove this female plug, extend the wires far enough to reach the spots here. I'm going to direct solder the power wires, black and red, onto the uh, speed controller. Um, the other thing we need is to get our throttle signal from the receiver to the ESC. So I'm going to strip this, tin it, and solder it to the signal spot. And I'll try to get a nice good close-up uh, once I'm done so you can see where to solder the wire. Alright, well, let me get this all soldered up and I'll be back in a few. Alright, I've got er everything all soldered up. I didn't, do I didn't do it exactly the way I said. Um, I had an old spare male battery connector. So I used that to plug into the 3-in-1 uh, and then soldered the ends directly onto the PCB here. Um, 
and I soldered the uh, signal wire right here on the signal spot. And we're done. So let's test it out and see if it works. We've got the uh, main gear disengaged from the pinion. That's a good sign. All right, confirmed the cell count and then gave the arming tone. So we're good here. And it spins. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and place everything onto the frame, put the heli back together. All right, so I have the heli all put back together now. You can see that I mounted my uh, ESC on the right side of the frame. Um, now, before I put the electronics back in the heli, I adjusted the final gear mesh and added blue Loctite to the motor screws. Uh, take care how you mount, or how I'm sorry, take care how you route the uh, signal wire as it can be knocked off the board uh, quite easily. Uh, make sure you route your servo wires on the outside of the frame to avoid the spinning motor can. And make sure to calibrate your throttle endpoints uh, before setting your throttle curves. Okay, that is it for this video. If you have any questions or concerns, visit www.linksheli.com Scroll down to the bottom of the main page and click the technical support tab to fill out a help ticket. Thank you for watching and most of all thank you for supporting Lynx Heli Innovations.